Well, uh, Dean Brown, um, former Premier of uh, South Australia, thank you very much, one, for being an entrepreneur, uh, not an, you, 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 in some cases you're an entrepreneur, but also an ambassador, I'll try to speak properly now, um, but also for your ongoing support as well, for attending here, um, uh, giving us uh, the value of your wisdom as well and your experiences. Uh, how do you think we're going so far with the Impact Awards? I, I think tonight has been a further significant step in having an impact across a large number of smaller companies. And come on to you and the other founders, my congratulations, because what you've started, I, I thought that you'd find difficulty in keeping it going. I, I remember outside the ABC you said, uh, I thought you were going to fall, and I was amazed that you kept on going there. And it's got bigger and bigger. And you can sense the, the air of excitement and the air of uh, potential and opportunity that exists now amongst the, the, the companies here. And it's a real tribute to pay, firstly, honours and respect to those who are forebears who've done it so well, like Frank Seely and Ian Wall and, and others, but to use them as examples for younger people who are trying to start off and get going on a global basis. That's what it should be about. I was very satisfied to hear some really fantastic um, comments around from Ian's uh, speech where people said that they were generally moved. I mean, when they realised the, the, the magnitude of the achievements of this guy over a long... I mean, to start a business up is hard. But to keep a business going for over 50 years is, is, is just remarkable. And, and a very difficult business too. And to have globally recognised technology. They are the best in the world. And no one would dispute that. In a very difficult area, doing a lot of defence work, other communication work, uh, they are the best. And the same with their mine sweepers. They are regarded as the benchmark. So, do you have any ideas as, uh, and I know you hate this question, but I've, I've got to ask it, but any ideas on what we could do as a state to further um, our prosperity? Because we, we don't want to be, um, you know, deluded and say that things are hokey-dokey. Things are not hokey-dokey. What should we do? What do we need to do to, to vastly improve and make, I mean, it's a fantastic place to live, to make the business environment just as good as our lifestyle? Look, I, I think you've sown the seeds of what needs to be done here. And your speakers, both last year and this year, have highlighted that, your keynote speakers. But uh, it's giving a vision to smaller uh, South Australian enterprises that have got some really good technology, uh, have got the potential to, to go global. They will need to, to make sure that they are up to the appropriate standards to go global. But once they've done that, enormous opportunity. And how we feed uh, one company helping another as you, as you go, that those connections and partnerships that develop. So I, I think what you've started here just needs to grow. We need to multiply it by 100, if you can imagine and, that. And maybe we'll just be patient and uh, let uh, the collaboration flow naturally as well. Yes, but uh, the seeds are there and it's a matter of how we spread those now more widely. Thank you very much for your support and uh, look forward to seeing you uh, again next year. More importantly, congratulations on you and the others for the initiative of getting this together. No well done. Thanks, mate. Thank you very much.